Yo, what's going on guys? Why 5 k Welcome to a new top 10 video on FIFA 20. Now today we are looking for the top 10 most overballed defenders on FIFA 20. Now as you all know on FIFA 20 we have a lot of overballed defenders but this is going to be my top 10 overballed defenders on FIFA 20. And just put on your mind this is not going to be about cheap defenders because we will have some players that are over 500k on the market. However guys now before jumping into the video if you're not on here don't forget to subscribe. Drop a like on this video, that will be always appreciated. Now let's jump into the video and of course it's a top 10 video so I have to start off with the number 10. Now for the number 10 we have a Frenchman playing on the Bundesliga, yes I'm talking about Lucas Hernandez. Now I swear to god this player on the start of FIFA 20 was like prime icon moment legend team of the year Maldini. But now after 7 months of FIFA 20 we have more of our bot players than him. Now for me he is a great center back with great pace and for his 88 rated foot birthday card I tried it on foot draft and he was absolutely amazing. And for his stats, he has got 81 base, 84 stand tackle, 86 light tackle with 86 aggression, high high work rate and his price is only 8k for me that's great for a player like him. Now moving on into the number 9 we have got one of my favorite left backs throughout the years on FIFA who is going to be Patrick Van Anholt. Now with his 84 rated winter refresh card he is a great left back to use on FIFA 20 but he has got one problem which is going to be his work rate. He has got high low work rate and as you all know low defending work rate is bad for any defender. Now for his stats he has got 92 pace. 85 defending with 88 stand tackle and 89 slide tackle and his price is 100k give him a try he might be the best left back you will ever use on FIFA 20. For the number 8 we have got the most used center back on FIFA 20, yup you heard it right the most used center back on FIFA 20 with 9.8 million matches who is going to be Linglet. Now this player is so overboard in game and that's why he's the most used center back on FIFA 20. Fun fact he does not have any special card on FIFA 20, we had a lot of events and the EA did not give him anything. The reason for that he would be so good in game. Now for his stats he has got 75 pace, 86 defending with 80 physical and high defending work rate. For his price right now he is around 20k which is pretty cheap for a player like him. Now moving on into the first and not the only Brazilian center back on this video who is going to be Juan Jesus. Now this player is a freaking tank in game with his 99 aggression no one can go through him. For real I wasn't expecting him to be that good at all but it turns out he is a solid center back in game. He has got 84 pace, 86 defending with 88 physical and the best work rate you can ever get for a center back which is low high. For his price right now he is around 100k and as you all know he might get upgraded if Roma wins in the Europa League. Now moving on into a center back from the Netherlands playing on the Premier League, no it's not Virgil van Dijk, it's Aki. One of the best 84 rated center backs you could ever get for yourself, I really like him in game and I think he is one of the most overboard center backs on the Premier League. With his 83 base, 85 defending, 86 tentacle with 82 strength, he might be one of the most overboard center backs you ever use on FIFA 20. And for his price, right now he's around 200k and for me I think he deserves it, he is an amazing center back in game. Now moving on into number 5 we have got an Englishman who has got a road to the final card, yes I'm talking about Gomez. Now as you all know this card was in SPCs and now it's not longer available but if you have this guy then GG you know what I'm talking about. He is an overboard center back and a good one as well. Now there is one problem about this card that Liverpool is out of the Champions League and he won't get upgraded. But for me he is overboard enough to get into the top 10 most overboard defenders. Now he has got 85 pace. 86 interceptions, 87 stand tackle with 84 strength. Now moving on into the most overboard right back on FIFA 20 in my opinion who is going to be Nelson Semedo. Now this guy is absolutely amazing in game and if you have tried him you know what I'm talking about. He has got 4 star skill modes with the best work rate you can ever get for right back which is medium high. Now for his normal 82 rated card he has got 92 base, 81 interceptions, 81 stand tackle, 80 slide tackle with 91 stamina, 4 star skill modes and high defending work rate. For his price right now he is around 7. Okay, and for me that's so good for a player like him. Now moving on into the top 3 most overboard defenders on FIFA 20. Before we jump into it go and comment right now who do you think are the top 3 most overboard defenders on FIFA 20. Now if you get them wrong then you are a normal human but if you get them right then you are a great FIFA player and you play FIFA all the time. But you don't have any friends, you feel alone and you might be a psycho. 
Damn, I just described myself. However, guys, now let's get back into the video with the third most of our bar defender on FIFA 20, who is going to be a Brazilian center back, and his name is Eder Militao. I think everyone know him and know how good he is in game, with over 7 million matches played with him on FIFA 20. And for me, I think he is the most of our bar center back under 84 rated to go with. Now, he has got 79 base, 81 defending with 81 physical and high defending work rate. For his price, right now he is around 2.5k on the market. Now for the second most of our board defender on FIFA 20, trust me it was so hard to choose between the first and the second player, but here it is. For number 2 we have got the most of our board left back on FIFA 20, yes I'm talking about the one and the only Ferland Bendy. Now everyone know him and know how good he is in game, I don't think I have to say anything about him. For the fact that he is 8 rated and still costs you more than 10k on FIFA 20, that just tell you how amazing he is in game. Now he has got 89 pay. 75 defending, 81 physical, 4 star skill moves with 5 star weak fit, and for his price right now he is around 11k and for me that's good for the most of our board left back on FIFA 20. Now moving on into the most of our bar defender and center back on FIFA 20, a lot of you know who is going to be, yes, it's going to be the Frenchman Raphael Varane. Now don't you think this guy is an 85 rated, no, 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 he is a 96 rated prime icon with 99 base, 97 defending and 94 physical, if you ever played against him you know what I'm talking about. To be honest it was so hard to choose between Ferland Mendy and Raphael Varane, so tell me on the comment below if I was right with my decision. Now he has got 83 pace, 85 defending, 86 tentacle, 85 slide tackle with 86 strength and high defending work rate and for his price you can get him for 80k. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and tell me on the comment below if I missed any player. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.